Hello, Rockers and Mercuryans. It's Rock Mercury here, and welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. Today, we are making some Bolingo Balance teas, some herbs and teas today. I have a lot of different types of teas here in my big old Trader Joe's bag, my favorite, one of my favorite Trader Joe's bags. They sell the best reusable bags, but we're going to pick a tea um, out of this bag. I have so many. You see all these teas in here. Thank you to Victor Bowman, Dr. Sebi's son, Victor Bowman, who gifted me these teas. Love him dearly. So thankful for him. I I owe his father my life. I would not be alive right now if it wasn't for Dr. Sebi. So I'm very thankful for him and for um, him continuing, um, Victor continuing. Um, I also have a crock pot here that I'm going to be doing my tea in. You don't have to use a crock pot. You can just use a regular pot and cook it on low or make it like a regular tea, whatever you want to do, you can. Um, But I'm doing it this way because I like to make a very strong, potent tea. And then I'm using um, spring water, Texas spring water for my, um, for the water. Yeah, spring water is the best. That's what Dr. Sebi always suggested. So let's see, I have so many teas, I don't know what to use. Oh, I could use this guaco. Oh, this guaco is very strong. I have some guaco tea here, but it's, I'm, I'm making some for my family too. I want them to drink some of this, and I don't, I think the guaco might be too strong for them. It's intense. It is an intense tea, that's for sure. I have some chamomile here. Um, chamomile, I love chamomile so much, um, but I don't think I'm going to use this one just right now. Let me put that out to the side. The block already. Um, oh, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. We have sarsaparilla tea. This tea right here, I'm putting everything else back. I'm putting all the other teas back because I don't even need those for this time. I'm going to use them going forward. But right now, I want my family to try this sarsaparilla tea that I love. It's so iron rich. Um, it's just gorgeous. Oh, by the way, my, my grandmother gave my sister like these kind of like robes and stuff. And she was like, no, nah, she didn't want this one. So she was like, you want them? I'm like, oh, yes, I do. You see, look, I have this flower one and then I have my flower wall over there. It's super cute. It all matches. It's giving. It feels nice too. It's like nice and silky. I'm happy it fits. Anyway, I also have some pants on too that she gave me. See these pants? They're cute. I don't know. I like them a lot. I love styles like this. I feel like a good old witch. <laughs> the Glinda the good witch. Um, but Glinda don't be doing this stuff like this. Anyway. Uh, so sarsaparilla root. Now, sarsaparilla root benefits are one of Earth's most potent herbs for iron. That's a huge one. Very huge for detoxing the blood. Um, hormones. Testosterone. AIDS and hair growth. You see, my hair is growing back, y'all. My hair really is growing back. Oh my gosh, it really is. I was really losing my hair, y'all. So thankful it's growing back. Um, let's see. My dad. My dad is bald, beautifully bald. My dad is looks better than most people. Um, but like he's bald, and I think that if he had this, he probably would have his hair back. But he looks great bald. Um, so let's see. Regulates hair hormone excess. Um, eczema, skin disorders, um, epilepsy, that's a huge one, um, hot flashes, wow, heartburn, sexual problems, and impotence, ooh, shooting blanks, um, stress, worms, joint aches, and blood purifier, those are some of the things that this does, or help the AIDS with, let's see, um, Somebody said Zephyr, Zephyrus is better. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. What is that? Um, Ace Baby says, what did you use? I use all these herbs. Um, that's what helped me. Sea moss is really what helped me too, just to not die. Because I was, I was like really ill. Very, very ill. Um, so I'm thankful to have survived. Um, and then somebody said, you've seen some things. I can tell by your eyes. Oh, yes. I've definitely seen more than I thought I would see. Um, yeah. All right, anyway. So, 
Ostasperilla Silamax Regali Tea. That's what it's called. Let's go ahead and get into this. I love, I love saying that. Let's get into this because I watch so much of Salone. If you guys watch on YouTube, there's a YouTuber named Salone. That's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. He does great documentaries, documentary style videos um, about all kinds of topics and celebrity culture and all kinds of things. But look at this, sarsaparilla. I live. Um, Ace Baby says, good to see you, Rock. Been a little while. I've been here every day. Ace Baby, where you been at? I've been here every single day. I've not missed one day except for... I think I missed a day on my nephew's birthday. I think I missed that day. That's it. Because we, we had a party the whole day. His first birthday, so... I think it's the only day I missed in a long time. That was like last week. Um, that's September 11th. September 11th is his birthday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this sarsaparilla root, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so... Like... You can't really smell it that much, but it's very strong. So I'm gonna use all of this root because I need to. I need to use all of this because I need to use all my herbs this week. And because I'm gonna order some more, you don't want your herbs to sit around too much. And I feel like these herbs are set a little bit, but they are still very potent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. Just all this root, putting it right into the pot. This is a blank pot right here, clean blank crock pot. So I'm gonna put. All of this sarsaparilla in here, this whole bag, and this is all gonna turn a beautiful amber color. Ooh, see that dust coming out? That sarsaparilla dust. Sarsaparilla. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Oh my god, it's so strong. This is gonna be, this is gonna be huge. Hope my family really likes it because they need to drink a lot of this. It's super helpful for the blood and stuff. This root right here, this, that, that's, this is why I cook it for so long. Look how thick that is. It's such a thick root, it's gonna, it's, it needs to be cooked, so. I feel like it's been cooked by this Texas heat sometimes. Right, let's go ahead and leave the rest of this in here. This is real witchcraft. So, all the hocus pocus stuff doesn't matter. It's all about healing. Healing is what really counts. Um, this part right here is so like, I feel like, oh, I can't, oh, it's so thick, I can't even, I can't break it. <sighs> There's like a spike right there, you see the spike that got me right there, that just stabbed me. Um, okay, I'm just gonna put it all in there because I can't even break it apart. It's that thick. Some places, they put it through a shredder and it becomes in like little tiny, tiny, um, like shards more and you break the tea out of it. But this, um, they take it right out the root. This is right from the sars sarsaparilla root. So, so powerful. So, I cannot over, I cannot over explain it. I've, I've drinking this so much and there's nothing makes me feel better than this sarsaparilla, um, personally. So you guys should try it out. Um, then I'm going to take my, um, good old spring water. Now the reason I love a crock pot too is because you don't have to worry about your house burning down or something, unless you have electrical issues in your house. That's a whole other situation. You need to figure that out with the, with the electrician. But um, I like to put it on low for, let's see, this one has a setting for um, uh, 10 hours, 10 hours on low. That's what I'm gonna put it on. So 10 hours, low heat, let it sit, let it live. Um, and it's going to just create a very strong amber rich tea. What's up, York? Good to see you, York. York, oh my goodness. Um, he said, good evening, Rock Mercury. Good evening to you. You have no idea how hopeful you were back um, back when you told me about the story when Manhattan Beach, well, Manhattan Beach, um, in eminent domain. Um, it was a huge story, and I, I, um, I'm very thankful. My whole family is appreciative of the knowledge you, you led me towards, so thank you for that. Um, also, this is sarsaparilla root. I know you're asking, you just asked me what type of root this is, York. Um, so this is sarsaparilla. This is how you spell it. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I drink it so often I should know how to pronounce it. But sarsaparilla, that's what it is. It's from Bilingo Balance. I love Bilingo Balance. This is the company that Dr. Sebi um, was running before he passed away. And his son is running it now. His son that really believes in the message and the, and the whole mission. Let's go ahead and pour this water in. I might use this whole gallon, I'm not sure. 
I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna pour it all in. Hold on, let me let me angle this camera down a touch so you can see this. See me pour it in here. There we go. I'm just gonna pour this all in there. Wish I could be part of the world. Who else is so excited to see the new? I've never been so more so excited for a um, a Disney movie than this new Little Mermaid with with Holly Berry. Sorry, <laughs> Holly Holly Bailey. I've I've worked with her before. We've done commercials before together. Um, I love her so much. I love Holly and Chloe. I love them. Like they are iconic. Um, blessing to this earth little baby Beyonce's I hate to call them that because they're more than that like they're they're their own people but I love Beyonce so it's not a diss towards them it's just a very like I'm just very ha proud of them and very happy for them and super happy for Holly um okay is that I feel like all the water's gonna fit oop it all fit there we go so that is a gallon that's one gallon one full gallon fit in there. All right, I'm gonna put this, the top on here, and after I get off of here, I'm gonna go plug it in, and I'm going to cook this for an hour and, no, not an hour, oh my God, 10 hours. 10 hours overnight, you see how it's all like just, see again, like it's just, just sitting there, it's like getting, it's already getting darker, just from the water touching it. Like, yeah, it's giving. Anyway, I don't want to touch too much because I, I wash my hands, but I don't want to touch too much because I'm going to share this with my family, making a very strong tea for it, my family. Um, let's see. Rita's in the house. Hello, Rita. Good to see you. Um, she said it's star, star spirilla. That's right. Um, Rita says, what does it smell like? Um, it doesn't smell like anything right now. Let me see if it, when it's wet, it smells like anything. It smells, <laughs> it smells like you're walking through a, a literal rainforest. That's literally what it smells like. Like just imagine a wet, a, a rainforest after it rains. That's what it smells like. Um, <laughs> it's very strong when you drink it. It's very iron rich, super purifying. I like to also bite on the roots after I drink it, after I drink the tea, because cause right now you can't bite on it, you break your tooth. But after it's soaked and cooking for 10 hours, you can like really get even more potency out of biting the roots out and then throwing, you know, you can throw them away or put them in a the compost. We are supposed to be starting a compost soon at this new house. Um, we have a huge backyard, but we are, our um, garden isn't set up yet. We want, we want like an above yard, above, an above, um, what do you call it? A stacked garden, like a, above ground garden that's what i'm trying to say above ground so i think once that's set up then we'll be able to use it but right now i guess i'll just have to put it in the green waste i don't know we don't have any compost here um but it's all good let's see rhino says what's up hello rhino good to see ya rhino kim um rita says raised bed that's exactly what we were wanting raised bed but honestly like it's, I'm thinking of something that can be staked into the ground because we have beautiful grass. I don't want to ruin any of the grass. So if it could literally float above the ground and still keep our grass. The grass is so nice, you guys. I can't imagine just like taking a section out of the grass for, I don't know, we, 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 we got to figure it out. We're going to figure out something. But it's a really big backyard, so we just, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and we have bits of like, huge, huge trees, like a whole forest behind us. Not a rainforest, but it does rain a lot here. Um, Ace Baby says, I heard it tastes a little like licorice. Um, maybe like licorice root, possibly? Hold on. Maybe like licorice root. But I don't know. But, hold on. I don't know what, what it's if, it's if that's the main taste. Yeah, I don't know 
a test of real taste. I, I, I don't know if I've been tasted licorice fruit before. Um, you can plant your stuff in pots then. That might be the best way. That might be the, it's called a raised garden. I see. Michael says a raised garden. Let me look at that. Let me look that up on Amazon. Go to my Amazon store, rockmarguerie.com. Click on Amazon. Um, and you can see the stuff I shop for. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Amazon's in the menu. Okay, I'm going to see raised garden. Let me see if that's the vibe of what we're looking for. If it's what we're looking for, raised, R-A-I-S-E-D, garden bed. Well, these are still on the ground. I wonder if I could do a state. Let me see what, let me see. If, oh, here's one. Here's one. And it has like legs on it. And it has a full, that's the word. That's the way. Because then we could put it in and then we'll kill our grass. Because I don't want a big old section of the grass cut and killed. Like, that's not the way. Um, and then we have a patio, but the patio has chairs and patio furniture out there. So, I don't know. Um, oh, you said let's see it? Okay, I'm going to show you. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. This is not the one I'll get, but I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like. Um, flip camera. It's this one I see, but like I'm sure there's some other ones too. I'm going to keep looking. I just look really quickly right now, but that might be an option. Um, oh, hold on. I love this mural, you guys. Every day I wake up to this mural, it makes me so happy. Whoever hand painted this, whatever artist it is, I I I, know I can find the artist because I know the, the people who built this place. But I um I love the artist because they really did a great job. It's so beautiful. I just love this wall so much. Oh my gosh, it's, just, it's such a it's so great to live to be in here. Like I prefer this one room over the whole house I have in LA. By myself. <laughs> I just love being up with my family. It's been a beautiful experience. And um, I feel like my some of my family, like my mom was saying she was dealing with some inflammation. And so hopefully this sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla tea helps with inflammation. A lot of us deal with, with inflammation all the time. It's a huge thing that people suffer from. So I'm hoping that this can really help. Um, Rita says, that's what I have. Pretty similar. Ooh, amazing. Do you have it just out in the open? Or how do you have yours set up? Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited. I'm going to read what it, what it does again. Cause I, read, I read it before, but it said it's one of Earth's most potent herbs of, for iron. Hormones, testosterone, aids hair growth, regulates hormone excess, eczema, skin disorders, epilepsy, Hot flashes, heartburn, sexual problems, and impotency, uh, impotence, um, stress, stress, worms, joint aches, and blood purification. So that's all that it says on here. So I'm super, uh, super excited. I'm so glad I had some left. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I ran out. So I'm very happy. Rita says it's in the part of the yard that gets the most sun, kind of the middle. I see. Very interesting. Very, very, I would. I mean, I would want this to be a darker wood because the wood in our backyard is like a nice, beautiful, like not caramel, but like a, a darker oak color, or I don't know what that would be considered. Like an amber color. It's pretty. It's a darker wood for our fence, which is beautiful. But um, I would like this to match that if it could. So I'm gonna keep looking, but it's good to know that there's these types. Of flower beds out there because I'm excited to grow something. We get so much sunlight here. Um, Rita says, start watching how the sun moves in your backyard at different times of the day. To be honest, the sun is like intense here and the whole yard gets a lot of sun. So um, we'll see. We'll see where I end up putting it. T Brown in the house. Hey, T Brown. T Brown says, hey, Rock. Um, Y'all, yeah. yeah, but that, no, it's really the sun is intense. If you if you guys have been, I, I know Rita, you're you're around here, so you know how hot it is out here. But where we are, it's just the sun just goes <laughs> just beats down. That's why when we had the the meeting for the solar panels, they were like, yeah, your house gets sun from all over the from every direction. 
So you're going to get lots of um, power to be sold back onto the grid. Um, so yeah. T. Brown says, how you doing? I'm doing very well. It's a beautiful day. I'm feeling very happy and blissful. Um, I'm excited to be continue working on a new album. I don't know when I'm going to have a lot of time to do that because I have so much other work happening right now and great things like with the new house and stuff, but I really want to get this album going. But I also need like a really quiet time to do that. Um, and I can't do it at night because the baby's sleeping. Um, and that's fine because I don't like recording at night. I'd rather record in the morning or like the daytime when I'm like rested. Um, that needed to be super quiet so that I can record the best vocals. But I'll figure it out because I can also go, like, I'm, I'm a, I work in real estate, so I could go to an empty house somewhere and just record there. I'm thinking I might do that. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of access to empty houses. Um, let's see, how you doing? Alex Lives, <laughs> Alex lives Matter. <laughs> he says, what state do you live in? I live in, I, I mean, I live in Los Angeles. That's my. That's where I'm based, but I am in Houston now, and I honestly do not want to go back to anywhere. I'm, I, I'm so happy here. I was thinking, I was at my gym earlier, because my gym is like a resort, and I just was like, I am very happy right now. Like, I just, I could literally just not leave Texas ever. I can just sit in Houston and just be living my best life like it's so perfect here even when the weather gets crazy it's like it's temporary um i don't know if there's a really a better state than texas i don't know i, I mean i'm born and raised in la but something about texas is like i'm not interested interested in leaving <laughs> i'm just I'm, I'm living my best life i don't our neighborhood is beautiful i, I go on a lake walk every day i go i go look at the creek too um, I get my exercise, my sunlight. Um, it's so safe here. I have an HOA. <laughs> I have, like, every, I don't know, it's everything. My family, but the biggest thing is my family. That's the number one. Um, I'm, I get to hang out, hang out with my sister every day, which is just, it's all beautiful. I'm very happy. Oh, my gosh. It's a dancing cactus. Thank you for the dancing cactus. P3 Lucha Sour? 45? So it's P3 Luches, Luch Sour 45, I think. Okay, I hope I said that right. Thank you for the dancing cactus. I love that. Um, Rita says, oh wait, P3 says, hey, Rock, I love your vibes. You make me feel relaxed. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you so much. I, I, I really respect that, and I appreciate you for being here. Um, Rita says, you appear so much happier. I literally am happier. I was so depressed in LA, I didn't even realize how depressed I was, like, I just, I was becoming more and more jaded, and I was just so stressed, I felt like I was in danger every day, and I was in danger, thank you for the roses, P3, um, I, I, I was in danger, you know, like, people have been shot in, near my house in LA multiple times, um, um, P and B Rock died very close to my home in LA. Um that's the, I can get to I can get to that that Roscoe's chicken and waffles in like four minutes, maybe less. If I driving. If I walked there it would take me a little longer to walk there. It would probably take me like fifteen minutes or so to walk there. But like I can get there in like four minutes. And that's where he died. All because of some getaciousness. Um, and that's South Central LA, because South Central is like, there's, the part that I'm in is like gentrified technically, so it's nicer, but still, like the house is like a million dollars, but it's weird because it's still so like, ah, it's still so lawless, it feels very lawless there, out here I feel like the law is in effect, <laughs> and I'm happy to follow the law, there's no ganja out here, so I don't have any temptation to be smoking the ganja, the good, that green flower that poisons us all because they put so many toxins in it. Um, you know, I was addicted to that, so I'm thankful I don't have any of that. Um, even though the company that I used to work with, Ease, always send me messages like, hey, we'll give you 20 bucks for free ganja. Here you go, free ganja. I'm like, I don't even live there right now, so 
keep your ganja and keep your money. Um, but, <laughs> but you know, I'm just, I feel very good. Very, very happy. P3 says, I love your vibes. Thank you, P3. Blunt Salisi says, hey, Rocco. Hey, hey. P3, P3 says, LOL, are you laughing at the ganja? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I just, uh, it's, it's been, it's been beautiful. So I'm going to keep my vibes going, <laughs> even though it's been beautiful, even though I cursed out my aunt last week. It felt good to curse her out because she deserved, well, not my aunt, my ex-aunt. It was a whole different drama. We talked about it before. I'm not going to bring it up. I don't know why I brought it up now, but it's funny because I feel so great, even though, like, I may have, I, like, cussed out this person who's been homophobic and attacked me and all kind of things, like, over the years. I've just, she's bullied me, these people, and her her and her husband have bullied me, religiously bullied me, and homophobically bullied, bullied me, and I just finally stood up for myself, cussed them the heck out, and I wrote a song about it today, a really good song, but it's like a funny kind of, like, it's not like all sad, like, oh, I'm so sad, like, it's more of like a rap song with some ratchet singing, so, different story. But I'm really happy I got a song out of it. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm just... Sometimes you have to let that release. You have to stand up for yourself to feel that real freedom. People will try to bully you in all kinds of ways. Um, especially if you're living your best life. They just they get so jealous and they just want to attack you. So, um, talking about that, shout out to Britney Spears. She's living her best life. I love me some Britney Spears. I love Britney Spears so much, and I'm really so happy for her and her freedom. I don't care what anybody says. I still have a little side eye for um, for Sam Sascari, whatever his name is. I still have a little bit of side eye for him because he was involved in part of the conservatorship situation she was in. But if she's happy, maybe he grew. Maybe he knows more now. I don't know. I'm still getting a little bit of opportunistic vibes from him but he has been defending Britney more so I'm just trying to like give him the benefit of the doubt but it's hard to give anybody the benefit of the doubt after what Britney has gone through I'm very protective over her um I don't want her to go through more suffering and I'm already bothered enough that her kids have disrespected her and um just betrayed her so I just I just want Britney to continue being happy um, with or without her kids, like, if they're gonna be acting crazy and acting like somehow Kevin Federline is their, um, is their motive, is their role model somehow, <laughs> if that's their role model, then power to them, like, what, but whatever, uh, as long as, as long as Britney's happy, she deserves happiness, she's been through so much, I've been blessed to work with Britney multiple times in the past, um, and I'm very thankful for those times. I'm thankful for her music, thankful for what she's brought to the culture. Um, she's a beautiful soul, and it just makes me happy to see her free. Um, Nessa Babes in the house. Hello, Nessa. Good to see you, Nessa. She says, hey, Rock. Thank you for the hearts. Um, P3 says, who cares what people think as long as it's you, as you're happy? That's right. That's right. And I'm really in that space now. I exited from that drama. Like, I know I just talked about it a second ago, but it's just more about, just, there was my releasing moment. Cussing that person out was like, just, I'm like, I'm done. Like, don't, I said, do not call me. I told them to block my number, leave me alone. I'm done with your bullying. Um, people do bullying in all types of ways. Um, and I just feel so free from it. All these years of just being torn down for, for, not, for nothing, for just being, being me. It's just, it was heartbreaking from somebody I'd known for so long since I was a kid. So it's just good to be free from that and to be like, no, you don't deserve to be, the, like, you don't deserve to be, this person doesn't deserve my energy. So, um, let's see. Alex Merk, Merker Prototype says, how are you? I'm doing amazing. Thank you for asking. Really, really well. Feel great. Um, hope you're well. Alex says, was it emotional or physical abuse? Um, it was emotional and physical in the way of, like, they, like, deprived me of physically being around my other family members because of the drama and the bullying that they created. 
this one, this one people, these two people, my, the, my uncle and my aunt, my ex-aunt, I don't call her my aunt anymore, because she's not related to me, like, she's married into the family, and I unmarry her out of my life, um, <laughs> I divorced her out of my life, because she was just toxic, um, but yeah, like, it was, so it was physical and emotional, but I mean, I've been through actual physical abuse through my ex-relationship, um, and that, I never thought I would go through that, I never thought I would be, like, actually attacked and beaten by someone, especially as tall as I am, but it doesn't matter how big you are and how, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, like, I'm not gonna hurt anybody like that, like, that's not what I was gonna do, and so for me to get attacked, like, multiple times by somebody who I thought was the love of my life, it's just like, wow, like, it just blow, it blows your head, you're like, how can this happen, like, how can somebody do you this way, but I'm divorced now, so I'm happy, I'm fine, out of it, but I'm glad I survived it, because some people don't survive it, and I tell you what, my ex was trying to end me. My ex was trying to end my life. And I know that for a fact because he even said it a time. So um, it's just like, wow, like somebody you really love, somebody you share a bed with can try to end your actual life. Thank you, Flower Bud. A Flower Bud's in the house on my other life. Thank you, Flower Bud, for the tokens. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're getting tokens out. Appreciate it. Um... But yeah, so I just, I see so much more now. I'm like, you know, if I ever have another relationship, which I have been meditating about, I've been trying to be very clear about what that relationship will look like in the future if I do go into one again, which I think I do, I will probably. Like, I have a lot of options, um, but I'm very peculiar. Like, I will not tolerate disrespect um, because I've already dealt with so much of it, I will, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, if I don't trust a person, we're not, I, I'm not gonna make up, I'm not going to project onto people, like, where I want them to be, I want to just see what they are, and see if that's gonna work as a partnership, if not, it's okay, I'm not in a space where I need love, I love myself enough, I don't care, you know, I don't need, I don't need it, I don't need it, so, um, that's the space I'm in. I'm very happy in this space. Put this up here real quick. I feel like this is so heavy right now. This table. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel very balanced. Like, I'm not gonna let what happened to me happen ever again. Um, the second I feel a moment of disrespect is over. Oh my god, Flower Bud. Thank you, Flower Bud. Flower Bud hooked it up again. 25 tokens. Yeah, yes. Thank you, thank you. Very nice of you. I love it. See, I have people over here who don't, who haven't even met me in real life supporting me. But yet, my ex was over here trying to destroy me. So, it's like, why would you want to put yourself in a situation of such disregard? Um, so, you know... Let's see. Oh, Rita says, your eyebrows are on point. I need them. <laughs> I just put my shea butter with my essential oils on them. Ooh, I'm glad you said something about that, about my eyebrows, because I need to make some more shea butter. But I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know if I want to do it right now. I mean, I could put it in the container. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I need some shea butter for my shower tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've got to make some more. It's easy to make. All you do is put the shea butter into a mason jar. Um, put the essential oils in there. Like the right amount. Just like a few drops. Not too much because I did that before and it burned me. Um, so <laughs> put some drops in there. Get it to that right smell you like. All the essential oils I use are very nourishing to the skin. They're organic. So, and they're all available on rockmercury.com, um, on the Amazon store. All the, all of the essential oils I use are on there. So you can check them out. Um, oh, Rita says, do it in the morning. You know what, Rita? I think I might wake up early in the morning and come on live with you guys again. Possibly wearing the same thing I'm wearing now. I might just have it like this. This is so cute to me. I don't know. I don't... I love this kind of, like, 
I love this. Little robe. It has little little ties on here. My grandma has good style. My grandmother gave it to my sister. My sister was like, this is not for me. <laughs> so she gave it to me. So I'm very thankful. Oh, it has here. It's an elder string. So I guess I'm supposed to... What do I do with these strings? Do I just tie it? Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to go around my body? I don't know what this string is for. It's like in a weird place. It's on the inside of this plate, of this one. It's like on the inside. And then this one is on the outside of this. So it's like, am I supposed to just like, tie it like here? Oh my God, I don't think this is how it's supposed to work. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I'm not gonna care about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this. Rita says it's very cute on you. Thank you. I love the like bright color. I feel brighter and happier when I'm in bright colors. Um, Rita says tie it and then tie the waist ties. It keeps it from gaping open. Wait, hold on. So, she gave me these pants too. I like these pants. They don't really match this, but I just want to wear them right now to see if they fit. Um, okay, hold on. So you said, you have to tie it. And you can tie it like this. Oh, I see, if I tied it like this, then it would just stay closed. Okay. Let me, let me try to tie it. Oh, I see, then it doesn't, it doesn't really open all the way. Okay, never mind, I didn't tie it that well, but I get that, I get that, I get the idea. Um, <laughs> um, Moon Faces says, the second belt is missing. Is there supposed to be a belt? Oh my god, there's a thing right here. You're right, there is like a little... You're right, there's like a little hoop. There's a hoop right here, you see this hoop? And then there's a hoop on this side too. Oh, so maybe I need to like, yeah, I'm missing the second belt, you're right. And there's no way to do it without the belt. So I'm just gonna wear it like this. <laughs> um, Alex says, do you like deep, deep pacote? Deep pacote? I have no idea what that is. Never heard of that. Um, de Pacote. I, I don't, I don't even know. I can't even pronounce that. Um, but so I guess I don't, I guess I don't. Oh, do you take? He said, do you take de, de Pacote? I'm going to look that up. It's a prescription drug, deep, deep coat. Depakote. No, I don't take any prescriptions at all. Um, I'm not a fan of Western medicine, but I do have health insurance just in case I get hit by a car or something, which I never want that to happen. Um, but things happen in the world, so we want to have emergency insurance, but I do not do that. I don't have um, prescriptions. But I almost canceled my insurance. My mom was like, no, because my insurance is expensive every month. But... She was like, you need to keep your insurance because you never know what can happen. And I'm like, oh. the same way that you never want to get in a car accident, but you want, you have insurance because you have to have it. So I never want to like be in a situation where, oh my God, I need to have an ambulance come get me for some random reason I never thought about. And then next thing I know, I, I'm in debt forever <laughs> from one visit. That's what I'm laughing but It's real life that happens to people. Like, this one visit in that emergency vehicle, ambulance, whatever, and they charge everything to you, and it's a mess. Flower Bud. Thank you, Flower Bud. Thank you for the tokens, Flower Bud. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm not trying to go down like that. Um, Alex Lives Matter says, I take Deepak, 
Dipakote. I, I remember you pronounced it already. Deep, Dipakote, Dipakote. For bipolar. I see. Um, my ex was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. But then he cussed out the person who... <laughs> He cussed out the person who diagnosed him in the hospital. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. I remember, I'm not laughing at the bipolarness because that's, that's, it's a real thing people deal with, I understand. But it was funny the way it happened because I was there. And I'm just remembering how that all went down. I'm like, well, that's not going to prove your point against the opposite <laughs> if you cussed him out the way you did. <laughs> Like, well, now they're definitely sure that you have it. So, um, it was a mess of a situation. And I do understand that possibly part of the abuse I experienced was because he was untreated, um, bipolar disorder. But also, I don't know what bipolar really means. I feel like some of these words, I'm not really sure if they fully encapsulate the experience a person who's dealing with the um, the mania and the effects and side effects of, you know, that chemical situation. I'm not sure. I feel like some of these words try to oversimplify it. So I don't, I'm not sure, but I dealt with a lot. Some people think, some people say that I'm bipolar. I don't agree with that, but whatever. Even if I was, I wouldn't care. I, I wouldn't judge myself. I would just live my life, but I don't, think that that's the case for me um but I wouldn't care if I did if I was and I am that's all good Alex says yeah man they said I have it but I'm not really sure yeah I just I'm really sketched out by western medical medicine I can't go too far into it because we're on TikTok right now and western medicine owns TikTok technically in a lot of ways they own a lot of things around us um, a lot of these prescription pharmaceutical companies, the most the most lucrative business in the world. Um, you can't really say too much about them without getting shut down or canceled. Um, but I just don't know how much of that is true and how much of these diagnoses are um, accurate. So, Alex says, I wish I had your braids. I braided these literally today. I braided them while I was at the, at the pool. It took me like 10 minutes or something like that. I think about maybe 20 minutes to braid them. I think it was 10 minutes. It was really short. I just braided them quickly. Just so I can easily take a shower and sunbathe. I don't use a comb for my hair. I use a comb for this though. For my beard, I use a comb every day. A wide tooth comb. Um, but I don't use a comb for my hair at all because I need to, I'm trying to have it grow back. I'm trying to make sure my hair is growing back, which these herbs are really helping me. Oh, it's really, this was all going away, you guys. All the part I'm touching right now is going away before. So it really is growing back. Those essential oils have been helping to keep my skin from breaking out as much. Oregano oil, sage, um, tea tree, um... Lavender, all kind of good oils. Eucalyptus. My sister gave me one that says, um, hold on, let me see what it says. I think it's eucalyptus and, no, eucalyptus and, and lemon. But I haven't been using it because I just don't know if lemon is going to be too strong. Like, lemon is very acidic, so I don't know if that's going to break me out or something so I was thinking of using it in my like oil diffuser that I don't have with me here because it's left in LA so I have to buy another one here <laughs> or I think my mom has one I might use hers I love this chair I'm in um all right well I really appreciate you guys it's 10 36 right now which is not too late but I'm kind of tired Rita says the lemon oil comes from the peel, not the fruit part. I feel you. It's just that lemons aren't alkaline, technically. And Dr. Sebi always says that lemons are very acidic. And so I was nervous about putting it on my skin in, a, in, in my essential oil because it sits on me all day, you know. 
So, y'all, putting making these essential oil shea butters has changed my life. It has been so, like, I feel like I'm going to a spa every time I'm putting them on my body. Like, it just feels so good and it smells great. Like, I can smell my beard. My beard, or well, I kind of ate dinner, so it might smell like a little at dinner. But it just feels so great. Like, the the oregano and the, like, I just feel the nourishment going to my skin. My skin is, like, really, it feels like it's different than just putting shea butter. Because before, I was only doing just shea butter. Let's see. When you put lemon in your body, it becomes alkaline. Maybe some lemons, maybe just some type of lemons I do that. But Dr. Sebi was like, no lemons, no lemons. Uh, I use key limes. I love key limes. He said those are the original lemons. Arizona Sunshine says, hi, handsome. Hello, Arizona Sunshine. Um, thank you. Rita says you can research it. Yeah, I'm going to research that some more. Because um, I have it right here. Let me, let me pull it out. It's a big bottle of it. Uh, it's... Lemon eucalyptus. You see? Oh, I can't see it. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, lemon. Lemon eucalyptus. I'm going to smell it. Rita says she's going to research it too. Thank you for the roses, Arizona Sunshine. She said, uh, they say, love seeing you on live. You make my day. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you so much. Hope you're checking out the podcast too. Because I post it every day. I post this one too. Oh my gosh. TGIF. Thank you. TGIF. Thank you for the TGIFs. And Arizona Sunshine. Thank you so much. Let me smell this. I actually haven't smelled this yet. I just had it in my box. My my um essential, essential oil box. Because I wanted to... Um, t- we were packing stuff and leaving the, the old house. So I didn't have a chance to smell it yet. Can I even open this? Oh my god, it's so hard to open. Oh, there we go. Alright. Oh wow. It smells just like only a little eucalyptus. Mmm. Okay. That smells. Smells very nice. Maybe I will use it. I'm thinking I would rather prefer because I don't know if this is organic, organic. It doesn't say. It's a premium quality, but I don't know if it's like. Oh, okay. It expires. It kind of expired already. It said this expires on 07 2022. So that's like two months ago. Wait, right now we're in the ninth month. Yeah, we're so two months ago it expired. I'm going to put it in my. (laughs) And my air diffuser. Because I think it's still good enough for that. But not good enough for my body. So. But yeah, that's one. Um, Arizona says, I tried to find find it. But I'm podcast challenged. BRB. No worry, Arizona Sunshine. Arizona Sunshine, you can go to my link in the bio. Rockmercury.com. Click on podcast and you'll see all the places it's available. But thank you for being here now. And you can find me on YouTube too. So, And I'm on here. So I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. All right, before we get off tonight, because I'm super sleepy, so I'm going to get off soon. But I want to see if there's any new effects going on right now. You guys know I love some good effects. What is this one? Ew. It's giving me a crying face. Okay. Oh, we did this one before. I don't see any new ones. Ooh, that looks new. Ooh, I like this. I like that. Um, Rita says, see you later, beautiful. Thank you, Rita. You're beautiful, and I'll see you later. I hope you have a great day. I like. I love your videos. I liked your video and commented on it, I think yesterday or today. But thank you so much for, for being here and for making content. Arizona Sunshine says she'll keep trying. Um, and says, Yahoo, Yahoo to you. I used to be a Yahoo member. I used to have my main email, Yahoo. 
I don't even remember, know if I even have that emote anymore. Um, let me take this effect off. I like this effect though. Let me try it. Let me see if it's some more before I get off. What is this one? Testing, testing. Ah. Uh, let me see what this one is supposed to be. It says. There we go. Okay, it's fun. Um, the heart. Music. How to play. Sing high rise. Sing low to the sink below. What? 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 Ah, wait, what? How did that work? What was this? Ah, oh, you have to sing. Oh, this is probably for the under the sea. Under the sea. Ah, oh, ah. Yeah, I can't do it right now because I can't. I can't be loud right now, but, um, okay, let me take this off. That's kind of fun. We might try that in the daytime. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Testing. I forgot that again. Okay, everything else looks normal. I wish I could do the aerial underwater filter, but it doesn't show on here. Okay, well, I tried. Oh, gosh, I want that off of here. Hold up. There we go. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rockers and Mercuryans, for chilling with me today. Had a great time. I hope you did, too, or just learned something new. Um, I am going to go to sleep because I'm exhausted, and I'm going to wake up tomorrow and have a beautiful Saturday. I hope you do as well. I'm excited for breakfast tacos tomorrow. Breakfast vegan tacos. Breakfast vegan tacos. Um, yeah. Life's amazing. I'm going to enjoy it while it's amazing. I'm not going to worry about things messing up. Things are always up and down. But I'm just going to be thankful for where it is now. So, peace to you, Arizona Sunshine. And thank you, Rita, for being here. You're amazing. Thank you for the 3.5 thousand likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate so much. Thank you. So, rock on, Mercuryans. Until next time, peace out. Um, oh, Shadow Gaming says peace. Hello. Oh, Marcus Cooper is in the house. I think it says invite Marcus Cooper to go live. What's up, Marcus? Sending you love. Um, all right. See you guys soon. Bye.